Hi everyone and welcome back to Kiva International. My name is Anita and today we will have a look together on the three tips so that you can use to find a job in Italy. So my first tip for today is to download and use the Europass CV or resume. I will leave the link down below here so you can uh, access to the Europass CV, complete it and then start to send me to the companies. Personally, I don't really like this uh, kind of CV, however, uh, it is the one required from most of the uh, Italian companies, so use that CV. Uh, my second tip for today is to start contact the recruiting companies. Uh, I will leave, leave here for you a list of some of the biggest ones and you can definitely send your CV to them and also uh, go to their offices and try to see if there is a job available for you. Also part of my second tip is to use the website. We have quite a lot of websites here in Italy that will allow you to send your CV uh, to find a job. Also, uh, don't forget to use LinkedIn because most of the companies now in Italy use LinkedIn to recruit as well. My third tip, it's very important, so be prepared to be speaking Italian. Uh, so let's have a look on how it works more or less here in Italy. I would say that uh, companies that has uh, more than 100 employees, they might be, um, be willing and they might be able to offer you a job even though if you don't speak Italian properly. So they might be able to offer you a job in English. Uh, this happened to me as well. Uh, well, I do speak Italian because I am Italian, but I saw uh, on my previous company uh, that there was some people from India or Bangladesh. They were uh, speaking only in English and they got a full-time job with no problem at all. But this company is quite big, has over a thousand employees. So for bigger companies or multinational companies, you might not have a problem. And also you might not have a problem if you're looking for startups because usually young people uh, speak English quite well. So let's have a look on which companies might require you to speak Italian. I would say the companies which are from uh, zero to 100 employees, which are small or medium companies, vary based on the territory. Uh, so these kind of companies, they will definitely require you to speak between a B1 or B2 of Italian language and they will definitely do uh, an interview in Italian. So you might have to be prepared to speak Italian. I really hope that this video helps you to find a job in Italy. If you need my help, just send me a message uh, down below. You have all my details and see you soon to the next video. Thank you. Bye.